In four days, the country will pause to remember the worst terrorist attack ever on U.S. soil. It has been 10 years since the day known simply as 9-11. There has been a bond ever since between New York City and Oklahoma City. Our Ed Murray is live from the National Memorial with a connection that was birthed shortly after the Murrow bombing. Ed? Well, Kelly, a retired California PE teacher, took up a hobby in the early 1990s, training search dogs. Wilma Melville and her black lab, Murphy, were FEMA certified in 1994. And in April of the next year, they were both here, searching for survivors. Now 77 years old, this tragedy is never far from her mind. The days that followed were, were simply life-changing. One doesn't get a chance to think about the details or what's really happening until you get home. Doesn't distract him a bit from the toy. And one detail stood out to Wilma Melville. There were only 15 FEMA-certified canine search teams in the country at the time. So she started the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation with private funding and grants, no tax dollars. And on 9-11, 13 teams trained at the foundation were at the World Trade Center. One cannot help but face the horror of that particular incident. The same with Oklahoma City. Individual people are forever impacted, forever. Their families and their friends equally so. But we must, I believe, look at what good can grow out of a disaster. There have been 81 deployments over the years by foundation trained teams. One's based in Oklahoma City and Tulsa responded to the Joplin tornado earlier this year. In all, Wilma and her team have produced 131 search teams closing in on a number she established soon after April 19th, 1995. My personal goal is to see the Search Dog Foundation produce 168 FEMA-certified teams, one for each of those people that died. To me, that is helpful in getting over, or at least past, the, the tragedy. And she believes that goal is now within reach. The foundation has raised $8 million towards the $14.5 million it will take to build our country's first ever training center for canine disaster search teams. And we've linked ways that you can help at News9.com. By the way, 85 to 90 percent of these dogs are taken from shelters, the rescued becoming the rescuers. And they will dedicate the ground of that training center this Sunday, 9-11. Reporting from the Oklahoma City National Memorial, Ed Murray, News 9.